Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Yuri, and today we're going to be talking about energy bars, um, protein bars, all those kind of uh, bars, if you will. Uh, somebody recently asked me, Yuri, what do you think about things like uh, Cliff Bars and um, Power Bars, Lara Bars, all those kinds of different bars, and, and so I thought I'd put together a quick video to share what I think uh, you need to know uh, when you're looking for these kind of meal replacements. So essentially, um, some of these can be good, some not so good, and I'll tell you about those in a second, when you are looking to supplement your diet. For instance, if you're on the go all day, if you don't have time to make food, if you're go, go, go in the car, at the office, where you know, you're running around, a couple hours between um, you know bigger meals, if you will, and you're looking for something to kind of tie you over that's as healthy as possible. You might also be looking for something you know pre-workout or after your workout that is simple to just grab and healthy for you. Now, unfortunately, most people, or actually not people, but gyms and fitness facilities make available a lot of garbage, right? A lot of these power bars, um, a lot of the stuff you're going to find in commercial settings are really not good for you. And a very simple acid test is to look at the wrapper. Look at the, the, the ingredient list on the wrapper. I mean, if it has, you know, upwards of like five ingredients, you probably want to stay away from it. And the reality is that most of these bars have 20, 30, 40 ingredients in some cases. And a lot of these ingredients are just like crazy long names. Some of them you can't even pronounce. Some of them don't even have a name, they just have acronyms. So remember that a lot of these bars have food additives, preservatives, all sorts of chemicals that are added uh, to make them taste better, look better, enhance their shelf life. And it doesn't equate to, to a healthy food alternative. So stay away from those. On the flip side, there are a few bars that I really enjoy. Actually, one bar in particular that I really enjoy. I don't really eat them that much, but uh, when I do, this is what I go for. Uh, Lara bars. I don't have a wrapper or a Lara bar with me, but if you go to pretty much any grocery store nowadays or any health food store, we'll actually have these. And it's very sim they're very simply called Lara bar. L-A-R-A-B-A-R. Lara bar. And the reason that I love them is because they're very simple. They are first of all, organic, second of all, raw and plant-based, which is awesome. So a typical Lara bar will have like three to four ingredients and that's it. You know, what does a typical Lara bar include? Well, it might include some dates, some cashews, some almonds and like an apple, right? That would be one of the, one of their apple, apple bars. Um, so very simple, very clean uh, ingredients, which I really like. And the cool thing is that you can actually, I mean, don't tell them this, but you can look at what the ingredients are, you know, because they're very simple, and make them yourself. And that's what I've actually done uh, quite often is I've, is I've taken some of my favorite Lara Bar recipes and I've actually made them for myself from scratch. I'm making a huge batch at home. I'll just, you know, keep them in the fridge, cut them up, put them into little Ziploc bags or a little saran wrap. And, uh, and that's what I'll use for kind of my, my post-workout uh, quick nutrient replenishment. Because if you think about it, think about this. Dates, awesome source of quick sugars for post-workout, even pre-workout. Almonds, great source of protein. Cashews, you know, again, protein and some healthier fats in there. Uh, some, of the, some of the bars include walnuts, which are obviously very good for you as well in terms of the healthy fats and some protein. And then obviously apples, different fruit, very simple. Uh, simple sugars, fiber, and all healthy for you, which is a great way to bring some simple, uh, some simple nutrients right after you finish your workout, or if you need something before your workout, or throughout the day. Um, so really, really cool stuff. Lara Bar is what I would recommend as a uh, as as kind of as your you know power or protein bar meal replacement bar if you're looking for one. And uh, once again. I'll probably do another post about this with the actual Lara bar. I'll show you the ingredient list, but it's really, really good stuff. And that, those are my thoughts on the bars. But again, they're never going to replace a healthy diet. So make sure that you prepare, plan ahead of time, get yourself organized so you're never caught three, four, five hours without food. That is the key. Otherwise, you're going to be turning to you know, the quick bagels and the, the bad food choices. So preparation and planning is key. And that's all for today. If you need more help with your food, diet, nutrition, be sure to check out my Eating for Energy program. The website's eatingforenergy.ca. And uh, I'll see you there.